Hello everyone, my name is Jace and welcome back to another video. This video is actually my 2,000 subscriber Q&A special. It's supposed to be a 1,000 subscriber special, but I mean, I'm just too good and then, you know, of course, I just keep gaining more and more every day. So now we're at 2,000 actually and I just want to thank you guys so much for that. It's honestly, it's pretty insane the growth and the support that's been going on lately. But I asked about some Q&A questions uh, last Minecraft Survival episode, Minecraft Adventures episode. And I'm just going to jump right into them. Got about, I think, uh, 16 questions to go through. So uh, here we go. So the first question is from The Golden Car. And he asks, what data packs do you have installed and how long do you keep on planning this series going? And would you have a season two? Um, data pack wise, I think I just have the elytra and chest plate combination one and one that makes the item frames invisible and as far as keeping the series going on and will i have a season two no i don't think i will have a season two and i just plan on keeping the series going as long as you guys want to see it and as long as i'm having fun making it so hopefully a while so the next question comes from uh those numbers and letters right there and he says what's your plan on the future of this channel do you plan on doing more minecraft related content outside of this series um my plan for the future of the channel is mostly just to be an entertaining gaming related channel uh, not necessarily just minecraft but obviously as you can tell minecraft mainly is going to be what i want to upload and uh yeah i definitely want to do other minecraft related videos outside of the minecraft adventure series um i've been in the talks with a friend of mine to do a little uh mini map series re soon so that might be a thing coming soon but as of right now probably minecraft adventures will be the only series i have going on uh can't think of anything else that i have any plans to do so probably just that for now so the next question comes from zen and he asks are you currently in school or planning on going to college this university and if so, what are you going to study? And uh, I actually just graduated high school and I'm just finished the whole application process of college. And I got a, got accepted into a pretty good college and I'm going for kinesiology, which is actually just exercise science, uh, I'm trying to be an athletic trainer. So it's a pretty good college I'm going to. And I, I really think I'll have a good time with this major. So Quaz Red asks, what type of music do you listen to? So I pretty much listen to anything i'm in the mood to listen to i don't really have a specific genre i like the most i definitely listen to probably rap the most but it's not necessarily my favorite genre i'd say probably everything so yeah that's that's gonna be the answer so swift elbow asks if i could have anything added into minecraft and what would it be and why so it's it's a pretty hard question um if I could have one thing added, it would probably be some sort of way to automatically craft items. Because uh, as of right now, the only way to craft things is manually. And when you get to making like really large scale farms that uh, require you to craft some things, it can get really tedious and boring. So I'd probably say some way to do that, but not too cheaty of a way because then it wouldn't feel vanilla. I don't know. They, they can figure something out. The next question comes from Zero. They ask, why did you start doing YouTube? So I actually started doing YouTube probably back in like 2011, 2012, a while ago. Um, I was really young and I just got into Minecraft a little bit before that. And I would watch all these like tutorials and YouTubers like Chimney Swift 11 or uh, Captain Sparkles. I'd watch a lot of their series and it just looked like a lot of fun. And I thought maybe, I mean, if they could do it, why can't I? So I started out really young and made some really shitty videos. It's really bad quality. Uh, and then just over the years, I've been on and off again and just developed the knowledge and know how to do things, I guess, in a semi decent quality. Because, I mean, apparently people say things are looking good. So, I mean, I guess I'm learning. So at Trasayal, uh, they ask, what was your favorite video game growing up? So, I mean, growing up, I mean, I'm pretty young. I'm only 19, so I I'm still growing up technically. But I, like, I probably would have to say Minecraft because I've played Minecraft since I was like 
10. And I can't really think of any other game that I really stuck with before that. I mainly just played like games here and there before then. So I pro I'd probably just have to say Minecraft. Mida Multitool says, do you play Rust? Um, I have Rust. I don't play it. it was, it's one of those games that uh, a few YouTubers played for like a few months and then it died quickly. It's in there's like no developer support for that game as far as I can remember. Um, ah, it's not a very fun game for what I remember either. So nah, I don't play Rust. Need to dispenser here asks, when did you first start playing Minecraft? So yeah, like I said earlier, I started playing Minecraft. I want to say in 2011. It could have been 2010. I really don't remember exactly what year, but it was before the official release. It was. It might have even been before beta. I, I can't exactly remember, but definitely between 2010, 2011, somewhere, somewhere between there. Temporary Void asks, if you get all the advancements and even maybe decide to end this series sometime in the future, are you going to play again on a hardcore world? I don't know, but in my opinion, the intensity of a hardcore adds the interesting element the fact that you lose everything once you die makes pulling risky situations off feel way more satisfying and awesome. I definitely agree that hardcore worlds can be more fun and uh, you definitely got to be different with the way you play and it could add like a, a different realm of interestingness to it as you say. But uh, as of ending this series or doing a hardcore series in the near future I don't see it happening just because... I don't see me ending Minecraft adventures anytime soon, and I don't want to have, you know, two si si super similar series going on at the same time. So, probably going to be a little while till I, I do a hardcore series if I do ever. Curtis Reed asks, What are the names of your previous channels? So, that is a question I don't know if I want to answer, but I'm going to. The answers to that question are. Jason the Beast 12 for my very first one. I was like 11, I think. And then Jace the Hero uh, is the second channel that I think I ever made. And then this is the third channel I ever made. Um, I uploaded a little bit on both of them for a couple months at a time and just fell off and i think on the jace the hero one most of the videos are privated or deleted or something but those are the names and you can look at it if you want but you're not going to find anything worth watching eve by the way says if you could use only one farm in minecraft what would it be and why it's just pretty good questions i gotta think about them uh if i could use one farm it would have to be the afk fish farm just because it gives you food it gives you xp and it gives you some really good high level enchanted books and bows. And I can't think of, because if you say one farm, I mean, what, what, what defines a farm at that point? Do I have to just randomly find cows and kill them for food? Like, because I need food, you know? So if, if it had to be one farm, I'd, I'd have to say the fish farm for sure. Woo Ooh says, how often are you planning to upload? Um, I would love to upload every day but i'm like a super procrastinator and it's the summer before i go to college and i'm trying to really have like a good time and hang out with as many people as i can before i probably will never see them again so uh, probably like two to three times a week i'd say is a pretty good number to shoot for that's probably what you should expect from this the next few months probably about two to three times a week and if it's going to change after that, I'll probably make some sort of announcement saying that I'm going to be doing daily or somewhat daily uploads. Zach Lawrence asks, what's your end goal for the series? Um, for the whole series, my end goal is just to have like a fun time, have a badass world that at the end of the series, I can just tour through and show off like a bunch of great memories and really epic builds that I've made. And I want to have everything like super automated, super large scale farms that are just unnecessary. I just want to have a really fun time and like have an over the top survival experience. And the last question is from a shit of what up. And they ask, is this a stupid question? And to answer that question, I ask you a question. Oh shit, what up? Do you think? It's a stupid question. If it was such a stupid question, would you be able to answer it? 
Would I be able to answer it? Maybe we all have stupid questions. Maybe every question that I asked or answered today was a stupid question to you. Stupid is subjective. It's not defined by any one definition. So how could one simply answer a question as if it's smart or not? I mean, what even defines intelligence? I'd have to say that, yes, it's a pretty fucking dumb.